If a Cisco IP phone is only able to obtain a voice VLAN ID through the Cisco Discovery Protocol, a Huawei switch can use the Huawei Discovery Protocol to allocate a voice VLAN ID to the Cisco IP phone. In HDP mode, the voice VLAN legacy function is configured on an interface. After receiving a CDP packet from a Cisco device, the interface returns a CDP packet to assign a voice VLAN ID to the Cisco IP phone. In the network shown in the figure, clients use Cisco IP phones which are only able to obtain a voice VLAN through CDP, and voice packets sent by IP phones have a low cost priority. The network plan should meet the following requirements. Voice packets are transmitted in VLAN 100. IP addresses of IP phones are on a different network segment from that of the DHCP server. IP phones need to connect to switches through 802.1x authentication. The configuration roadmap is as follows. Add the interface of switch A to the corresponding VLAN according to VLAN planning. Enable the voice VLAN and voice VLAN legacy functions to assign voice VLAN IDs to IP phones and increase the packet priority. Configure switch A as the DHCP relay agent and switch B as the DHCP server that allocates IP addresses to IP phones. Configure authentication on switch A so that IP phones connect to the network through 802.1x authentication. Configure 802.1x authentication information of IP phones on the authentication server controller. Now let's see the specific configuration procedure. Step 1. According to VLAN planning, add downlink interfaces of switch A to the corresponding VLAN. Enter the system view. To differentiate devices, change the device name to switch A. Create VLAN 100. Enter the interface view. Set the link type to hybrid. Add the interface to voice VLAN 100 in tagged mode. Configure another downlink interface GE002 in the same manner. Step 2. Configure Voice VLAN and Voice VLAN Legacy functions on Switch A. Enable Voice VLAN and Voice VLAN Legacy functions on GE001 and GE002 connected to IP phones. In versions earlier than V200R003, switches can only identify voice packets based on MAC addresses. Therefore, the OUI of the voice VLAN, which corresponds to the IP phone's MAC address, needs to be configured. Configure the OUI of the first IP phone. Configure the OUI of the second IP phone. Step 3. Configure the DHCP relay function on switch A. Enable DHCP globally. Create VLAN F100. Assign an IP address to VLAN F100. Enable the DHCP relay function on VLAN F100. Configure the DHCP server address on the DHCP relay agent. The IP address of the DHCP server corresponds to the IP address of VLAN F200 on switch B. Configure a VLAN F interface for communication between switch A and switch B. VLAN 200 is used for communication between switch A and switch B in this example. Create VLAN 200 and VLAN F200. Assign an IP address to VLAN F200. This IP address is on the same network segment as VLAN F200 of switch B. Add the uplink interface to VLAN 200 as an access interface. Configure a default route. The next top address of this route corresponds to the IP address of VLAN F200 on switch B. Note that you do not need to configure a default static route if the DHCP relay agent is directly connected to the DHCP server. Step 4. Configure switch B as the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to IP phones. Enter the system view. Modify the device name. Create an IP address pool for allocating IP addresses to IP phones. Configure the egress gateway address of the IP address pool. This address corresponds to the IP address of the VLAN F100 on switch A. Configure allocatable IP addresses in the IP address pool. These addresses must be on the same network segment as the egress gateway address. 
Enable DHCP. Create VLAN 200 and VLAN IF 200. Assign an IP address to VLAN IF 200. Configure switch B to allocate IP addresses from the global IP address pool to the IP phone. Add the downlink interface GE003 to VLAN 200 as an access interface. Configure a return route for the IP phone. Step 5. Configure a AAA domain on switch A. Create a RADIUS server template named IP phone. Configure the IP address of the RADIUS authentication server. Configure the IP address of the RADIUS accounting server. Configure the shared key of the RADIUS server. This key needs to be used in the controller. Enter the AAA view. Create an authentication scheme named RADIUS. Set the authentication mode to RADIUS. Configure a domain named default. Configure the RADIUS authentication scheme. Configure the RADIUS server template IP phone. Step 6. Configure 802.1x authentication on switch A. The following procedure applies to all models running V200 R009 C00 and later versions. For models running V200 R008 C00, V200 R007 C00 and earlier versions, see the corresponding manual. Before configuring the authentication mode on switch A, set the NAC mode to unified. Run the display authentication mode command to view the NAC mode of an S switch. If the command output displays that the NAC mode is unified, the unified mode has been configured. Run the authentication unified mode command to switch modes. After switching modes, save the configuration and restart the device to make the configuration take effect. After the restart is complete, perform the following steps to configure the authentication mode. Create an 802.1x access profile named IP phone. Configure the authentication profile named IP phone. Bind the 802.1x profile to the authentication profile. Finally, apply the authentication profile named IP phone to GE001 and GE002. The switches are now configured. Next, let's see how to configure the authentication server, Agile Controller, on which authentication information about the IP phone needs to be configured. Before configuring the Agile Controller, ensure that routes between the Agile Controller and switch A are reachable. The configuration page of the Agile Controller varies by version. V100 R003C50 SPC300 is used as an example here. Perform the following tasks. Step 1. Log into the Agile Controller. Create an 802.1x account. Choose Resource, User, User Management. Click Add in the Operations area on the right, select Common Account, and enter the account and password. The account and password must be the same as those configured on the PC. Set the username to be the same as the account. Click OK. Be aware that the account belongs to the user group named root. Step 2. Add switch A to the Agile controller. Choose resource, device, device management. In the operation area on the right, click add. On the displayed add device page, enter the name of switch A. The name is set as switch A in this example. Enter the IP address of switch A. Select enable radius in radius authentication parameters. The device series remains Huawei S series. The authentication as well as accounting key and the authorization key are the shared key Huawei 2012 of the radius server configured on switch A. The real-time accounting period is not configured. Accounting is performed based on the duration. Click OK to complete the configuration. Step 3. Add an authentication rule to the Agile controller. Choose Policy, Permission Control, Authentication and Authorization, Authentication Rule, and click Add to add an authentication rule for IP phones. Set name to IP phone, set service type to access, and set user group to root. In the authentication information, select the authentication protocol that can be used. Click OK to complete the configuration. Step 4. Add an authorization result. In the navigation pane on the left, click Authorization Result. Click Add in the operation area on the right to create an authorization result. Set name to Voice VLAN 100. Set service type to access. Set VLAN to 100 in authorization parameter. 
Click Add in the following customized authorization parameters to add authorization information. Select Huawei from the Vendor drop-down list. Set Attribute ID to HW-Voice-VLAN. Select Integer to Attribute Type. Set Attribute Value to 1. This indicates that VLAN 100 is the Voice VLAN. Select the new authorization information and click OK to complete the configuration. Step 5. Add an authorization rule. In the navigation pane on the left, click Authorization Rule. Set Service Type to Access and set User Group to Root. In Authorization Result at the bottom, select Voice VLAN 100 created in the previous step. The configuration of the Agile controller is complete and the configuration of connecting IP phones to switches through HDP is completed. After the IP phone is powered on, it can be authenticated and connected to the network. After the IP phone goes online, you can run the display access user command on switch A to view connection information about IP phones.